There is much confusion here in the UK over the new 8.3 kilohertz spacing for air band. Uh, in many cases, nothing has actually changed. The frequency, transmit and receive frequency is still the same. Uh, it is just how it's been referred to. Uh, they have now all been given a channel number, which is unfortunately very, very similar to the frequency. So, such as Cough Penny Green, uh, they reported the frequency change is now 123.005. That is actually a channel reference for the new radios fitted uh, within aircraft. Their actual transmit and receive frequency is exactly the same. It is 123.000. There are quite a few sites online that list these. This is excellent. I will put a link to this site uh, in the video description. What a controller will say, as per the left hand column, 118.005. I may refer to as the frequency, the actual transmit receive frequency will be 118.000. Um, it's a bit like CB. So you've got a channel number of 19, it's 27.1850. Now, as I said before, that they've used a very similar channel reference to the frequency reference, and that is what's caused the confusion. It is always the actual frequency that you want, not the channel reference. So, as I, again, as I said before, in the majority of cases, nothing has actually changed with the frequencies. There are, are exceptions, and there's many, many good guides that have listed these, such as Birmingham had, had a, a, a complete change in one of their frequencies, and there is some new frequencies out there as well. Uh, these are listed within Squawker, and Squawker does list the frequency and the channel. So... Uh, you know, if you can't find it, under a frequency, sorry, nothing found, but if we change that to channel, see so it's this in East Midlands there, as a channel and the actual transmit receive frequency in the left hand column. Hope that helps. Any questions, just let me know.